Okay, so again, we're looking at solving the linear system by graphing. So we're trying to find the point of intersection. So line one is 2x plus y equals 5. And line two is x minus 2y equals 10. In order to graph these, they, we need to put them into slope intercept form. Do you guys remember that? What's slope intercept form? Y equals... And how will that help us graph? What does M tell us? Yep. Yep, M tells us the slope, so the rise over run. And B tells us the y-intercept. So we're going to go through each of these, and then we'll uh, look at how to graph it once we have that information. So the first thing we need to do, let's write the first equation here. I need to rearrange this into slope-intercept form. Anytime you need to rearrange an equation into slope-intercept form, you are isolating y. That's what you're doing, right? You're rearranging the whole equation to have y on the left side and everything else on the right side. Once it's in that form, the coefficient of x, whatever number's in front of x, will tell you the slope, and the constant term, so the number that's by itself with no variable, will tell you the y-intercept. Do you remember this from grade 9? Okay, so let's rearrange this. I'm trying to isolate y. So on the left side, we have 2x. How do I get rid of that? What's the opposite of plus 2x? Subtract 2x. OK, so I'm taking away 2x from the left side. So what do I have to do to the right side? If I take away 2x from the left side, what do I need to do on the right side? Do the same thing. So I have to also take away 2x. So I've gotten rid of this 2x. I'm just left with y. And I have on the, left, on the right side 5 take away 2x. Is that it? I've isolated y. Slope intercept form means you need to isolate y. I can rewrite this. I can put y equals 5 take away 2x. Or I can write y equals negative 2x. And is this a positive or negative 5? plus 5. Does it matter which order we write it in? No. What matters is how we figure out which one's the slope and which one's the y-intercept. Like I told you, the slope is always whatever is in front of the variable. So what is the slope? What number is in front of the variable x? Right? Doesn't matter what order I write it in. I have the coefficient of x is negative 2. So the slope is negative 2 over 1, right? Anytime you have a fraction, if it's a whole, I'm sorry, every time you have a whole number, to make it a fraction, we can always divide by 1. It doesn't change it. Anything over 1 still keeps the number the same. And the reason I wrote it as a fraction is so that when I graph it, I can actually count the rise and the run. Okay, so we have to figure out, well, which part of this equation tells me what the y-intercept is? Remember, I said it's the term, it's the constant term, it's the number by itself. So what is the y-intercept? Yes, positive 5. So I'm going to write b is equal to 5. Now that we know the slope and the y-intercept, what do I start with to graph this? What point should I start with? So if we know the y-intercept is 5, that means that there is a point on the graph at 0, 5. So let's plot that. I'm going to do it in red. Everyone agree that the point has to pass through that, sorry, the line has to pass through that point. It intercepts at 0, 5. And now, is the slope positive or negative? Negative. negative. And if we remember from last year, any line that has a negative slope will always fall to the right. It will go this way. Do you guys remember that? If it's a positive slope, it will always rise to the right. So I know that I have to either count um, up and left or down and right. Okay, so you guys do it. We're going to rise by negative 2. So I can go down by 2, negative 2. If I go down by 2, then I have to go left or right by 1. Right. right. There's the next point. Rise is 2, run is 1. 2 over 1. Now, if I go up by 2, that means that my slope is positive 2. 
but the, remember the slope was a negative two, well a positive and a negative, make a negative, right? So if I go up by two, I'm gonna go left one. Up two and left one, we can keep extending it and then we're gonna connect the points. And actually I'm gonna go down further, one, two over one, one, two over one, because I don't have a ruler. And I'll connect all these points and that's the first line. Okay, so I've plotted four points and I'm gonna stop there because I've now, I'm able to see where these two points intersect. What is the point of intersection? Four, negative three. We are going to check this answer, okay? I'm gonna show you how can we check to see if this is true, because this is important. You're gonna have to do this with the other methods as well. I need to isolate y, and we can imagine there's a one here, right? So what's the opposite of positive one x? Take that away to get rid of it. What do I have to do to the right side? Take away one x, or you can just write x, it doesn't matter. So I'm left with negative two y equals 10 minus one x. How do I isolate y? Divide everything by negative two. So I'm left with y equals negative five plus or minus plus what? One over two x. Okay, so what's the slope of this line? Positive one over two. So we know that this line is gonna rise to the right, which makes sense because the other one goes this way. They're going to intersect, right? And the y-intercept is what? Okay, so I want you to graph that. Starting at 0, oops, negative 5 is the first point, and rising by 1, and a run of 2, positive. To check, to see if this is true, like Mauricio said, we're going to put these coordinates, we're going to plug it back into the original equation. So my... The original equation of the first line was 2x <laughs> plus y equals 5, bless you. And the original equation of the second line was x minus 2y equals 10. Does it matter if you plug these points into the rearranged equation or you, or sorry, the original equation or you can plug them into the rearranged equation? Doesn't matter which equation, you can plug it into the slope intercept form or this. You're trying to see if the left side balances the right side. If these um, if the two sides don't balance, then this point is not on that line. It doesn't make sense. So check right now to see if that is the correct answer. So 2 times 4 plus negative 3 equals 5. And then you're going to do 4 take away 2 times negative 3 equals 10. 2 times 4? 8 take away 3. 5 equals 5. It works. It balances. So that this point is a solution to this linear equation. It is a point on the line. What about for the second equation? 4, negative 2 times negative 6 is, I mean, negative 2 times negative 3 is, what's 4 plus 6? So 10 equals 10. So Yes, this point is the solution to this linear system. A linear system is just when you have two or more linear equations. This is a linear system.